Hi guys, this is Thinking Through Code, back at it again with another video about GUI applications using TK Inter. For this video, we're going to be showing how you can have an image being displayed inside of your label. In order to get there, we actually need to create a new folder inside of your project folder. You can do it by directly accessing the folder inside of your computer or through the PyCharm IDE by right clicking your folder directory, going on new and then clicking on directory. You can give whatever name you want to your directory, but for images, I think images is the most straightforward. Now for this video, what I'm going to be showing is a cat gif, a smiling pug, and the logo of my YouTube channel. Now that we have the images inside of our project, we're going to use them and access them inside of our code. Going into my main.py, I'm going to go into my first label, which is my greeting label, the one asking me for my name, and I'm going to use the configure method for the image option. Now, the image configuration right here is not only specific to labels. You can use it on other widgets for your information. We're going to try something. I'm going to take the path of my TTC logo and I'm going to put it in here. To do so, I'm going to go over my file, right click on it, and then click on copy path. Once I get there, I have the option to take the absolute path or the path from content root. Never take the absolute path since your project cannot recognize all these other folders. So now, we're going to paste it and we're going to run our code. Okay, I made this mistake on purpose, simply to show to you guys that having images inside of a folder inside of your project is not enough. You need to convert them into image objects, which is why the error here tells you that the image does not exist, simply because this string right here, this path, is not an image object. Therefore, this image argument is not existent, since it didn't take the, the, correct, uh, the correct value. So now that you know better not to do this mistake, we're actually going to create an image object. Over here, to do so, guys, you're going to have to import more libraries from the TK Inter module. The more specific one is actually the photo image library, but you can do so by simply importing the asterisk. So now that I have my photo image library here, I'm going to initiate it with an object. I'm going to call it image1, photo image, and then as an argument, it's going to take a file. Now, on that file, we put our path. Just for illustrative purposes, I'm going to print the type of my image one. Now, when I run this code, we print class TK Inter photo image, which means that now we have an image object, which is great. This is exactly what the, this class will do in the TK, TK Inter module. Now we can close this. And now that we have this done, we can now use the image one object. So going into our configure method and then set it into image one. Now, when I run my code, I realize that now my image is being shown. Now, photo image has proven itself to be very useful in this application, but it has a big limitation. One of them is that it cannot actually read all file types. We're going to do a test with our smiling pug. We're going to copy its path, take it from the content root, and we're going to insert it into our image one object. When I paste that here and I run my application, I see that I have an error. Couldn't recognize data in image file, images, smiling, pug. That's the problem with photo image. This limitation that it cannot read all file types is a big issue for software development. Therefore, you need to bypass it. To do so, you're going to need to install the pillow library. You can do it through your PyCharm ID by going into Python packages and simply writing the name of the library itself. And then it shows up. I have the version 9.1.1 already installed. If you don't have it in your machine, it would simply say the word install. You need to click on it. Another option is to go into the terminal and run the following line. pip install pillow. When I run this, it says that the requirement is already satisfied. I already have it in my TK Inter project, lib, site packages, and the version 9.1.1. And just to be 100% sure, you can see it right here on my packages. Perfect. So I have installed the package, which is great. And I'm assuming you already do. So you need to use it. So to do so, you're going to have to access it by an import. So from pill, that's how you access it. You import the following two modules. Image and image TK. So the pillow library is a library that can be useful in image processing. Within it, however, you have the image DK module that allows you to use photo image. 
So the first step that we're going to do is create an image object for our pillow library. And we're going to use the image module within the pill library. We use open and then we put our file path. So now we are accessing our smiling pug with an image object from our pillow library. So it is not yet useful in our TK inter label. To do so, we need to convert it through photo image. So image two, we're going to use image TK. And then you guessed it, we can now access photo image. And in here, we're going to put the image object. We're going to see if this is going to work. Go into image and equal it to image two. When we run our application, we do have our pug, but this is getting a little bit big. So we're going to comment it out just for illustrative purposes. When I run my application, there you have it. You got your smiling pug. Here is the perfect opportunity to actually show another limitation of photo image. You see, I had to hide this image through a comment in order to have this image properly show in my frame. It would have been a lot more useful if I could resize this image by simply using pillow. So photo image actually just will load an image and have its raw size static image displayed in your GUI application. And that's not what you want. You actually want to process this. So I'm going to create another image object. I'm going to call this one image object one, and this one's going to be two. And inside, we're going to change this so that we're using our pillow library. create another object image one call it image tk and photo image and then simply place it inside now here's what i want you guys to understand there's always going to be a pattern when you're using pillow you use pillow you process your image and then at the end you simply display it with a photo image so if i want to resize my logo i can do it right here now the resize method actually takes a tuple and in the tuple you're going to precise the width and the height so i'm going to make it 150 by 150 and when we run this application there you have it you have both our logo and our pug showing in the specific locations that we want it which is the beauty of pillow you're going to be able to process all your images so that you have the best outcome for your gui application by now guys, I'm sure you've been following my video and inputting images and text inside of your labels. You've been learning a lot and I really hope so. But there is one thing that is a little bit odd and we can notice it when we go back to our labels and see exactly what's inside of them. We have both an image and text inside of it. My greeting label asking us for our name and my random label having a random sentence inside of it. The thing is, is that when I run this application, none of that text is shown. It's as if as soon as I put an image inside of my label, it's going to overwrite the text and simply display the image. And, you know, some people might not like that. Some people might like to have a sentence bef besides their logo for their company, or you would like to simply have a funny sentence following the picture of your pug. And I'm here to actually tell you that you can do that. And the only way to do so is by adding the compound option in your configure method. So compound actually takes the values of center, right, left, top, and bottom. And what those positions are is simply the position of your picture with respect to your text. So for my logo, I actually like my logo to be on the left. And then my sentence is going to be on the right. So for my pug, I want my pug to be below the sentence. So I'm going to put it in the bottom. And now when I run my application, there you go. I'm completely satisfied with the result. I have my logo displaying here asking me for my name, which is great. And my pug here telling me that coding is cool. And that's what some people want. And TK Inter can give you that option. So now we reached the end of the video, guys. And I took out gifts from this video because I did not want to overload you guys with too much information. There's a little bit more code that is involved in uh, showing the frames of a GIF in a TK Inter GUI application. I will be showing that on a future video. 
I just want to thank you guys for also interacting with my videos. I know I'm a very young channel. I see some people liking and sometimes even giving out some comments. But don't forget to click that subscribe button, guys. I would truly appreciate that and it's going to help the YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much.